Hello, Quincy. Mayor Tom Koch here with our COVID-19 update. Today we've got some additional cases to report. We have 945 confirmed cases and that increase, uh, some of that's related because of the amount of testing that's going on. We have two additional employees that tested positive at Walmart. As you probably read or saw on the news that Walmart was shut down uh, and remains closed until uh, further time. Ruth Jones, our Commission of Public Works, is working with corporate uh, at this time and until all agree that it's safe for the employees and, and for the public as well, it will remain closed. We now have 86 deaths, which is three more than yesterday, and those three deaths were people that were in nursing homes, so, um, you know, it's not unexpected. We've had more uh, deaths at the nursing homes, unfortunately, because of the close environment and because some of them are very sick to start with. So our hearts go out to those families, express our sympathy to them, our recoveries are going up dramatically as well, so we're well over 400 now that have recovered. Uh, in total in Massachusetts, the cases are now at 70,000. Uh, now today I was told that uh, is Nurses Day, National Nurses Day. And boy oh boy, uh, the nurses in the midst of it all as we speak. Uh, I have some uh, sisters-in-law who are nurses. I know a number of nurses who are friends. Uh, they're amazing individuals. Nursing is not a job, it's a vocation. And it's incredible the compassion and care they show each and every day to the patients, particularly in this time. So we, we send out a set of gratitude to our nurses, congratulate you, thank you for what you do, thank you for saying yes to that vocation. And we have you in our prayers along with all those working around you uh, for the improvement of the patients under your care. A couple of announcements. I think I might have mentioned before, Memorial Day is coming up and we have made the decision in conjunction with our Veteran Services Director and Gray's registration officer that we will not be having the standard Memorial Day parade and exercises at Mount Wollaston. We will probably have something very simple to honor those that gave their life for our nation at Mount Wollaston, but it will be subdued because of the times we're in, because of the uh, really goal of the continued social distancing so we don't transmit this disease. In addition, uh, a heartbreaker for me, uh, every year since 1952, there has been a Flag Day Parade and Celebration in Quincy. The parade was started by my late dad, Cavanaugh Field. It was expanded citywide, and for the last couple of decades, we've had one heck of a show uh, kept off by fireworks. That is being canceled at this point. Even as we ramp up and reopen things, I don't believe we'll be ready for that kind of an event where people are shoulder to shoulder along the parade route, people are shoulder to shoulder at the event at Pageant Field. We will certainly find some way to honor Old Glory and its great history uh, and what it means to all of us in some fashion, and we'll talk about that well before uh, June 14th. But uh, the event as we know it will not be held. Um, you know, I apologize for that. It's, it's one of my favorite events of the year. Uh, it's kind of in the blood. So uh, we'll keep you posted on what we'll do in lieu of that. I also was notified uh, by uh, Lou Tazi, former track coach in Quincy, that they have canceled the squirrel run race, which was uh, run by Rich Kennedy in honor of his late brother who died from LES to raise money for ALS. And um, they're, you know, they feel badly about it as well, but it's one of those things we just can, can't control right now. We thank Lou and the Kennedy family for all the great work they've done over the years. And I know they're as equally committed to beating uh, this disease, uh, but the, the squirrel run will not be held. That's usually in the first part of June also. So, so unfortunately, uh, these are the times we're living in. Um, the flip side, uh, I know uh, I'm enjoying a little bit more time at home. I don't know if my wife is, but I certainly am with uh, two of my children uh, being at home still. Uh, I'm doing a lot of reading. Uh, this is a great time to grab a book, uh, order a book on Amazon. Uh, doing a lot of walking. I've been walking the city and driving my crews at Public Works and Parks Crazy with the list I come up with each night that I see out there. Uh, however, uh, it is a good time to maybe to reflect a little bit and look at uh, each of us on the inner side and how can we improve, uh, how can we be more faithful to one another. Even as we come out of this, uh, how can we slow down a little bit, really enjoy our life, enjoy our loved ones, uh, and take a little bit more time to ourselves. So uh, having said that, I'm as frustrated as you. I'm you know, ready to go. Uh, we're all a little anxious and antsy, I'm sure. Again, I thank everybody involved in combating this, both from the medical community, uh, but also those folks dealing with it every day, like our teachers uh, delivering virtually uh, or virtual, by virtual, uh, various lessons to our kids, trying to keep them engaged. 
I know that our high school seniors are anxious. We are going to try to put together a graduation ceremony. We've talked about that. I think we're going to be able to figure that out, doing that safely at Veterans Memorial Stadium at a later date. Uh, particularly now where we have new seats and they're all numbered, I think we can do this in a way that would be safe for everybody. So stay in tune uh, on that one uh, with our school department. And I know my colleagues in the school committee and everybody would like to do that. Um, so in the meantime, uh, stay safe. God bless. See you next time.